Let's see if they can stay away from those penalties that got them in trouble a week ago. Calvin Hill close to 200 yards rushing. National. Yeah, this is a guy that was a 15,000-yard passer in high school in the state of Texas. Calvin Hill. In the years back, let's see if he can get a quick throw. Five receivers in the game. Hatcher underneath, and a quick tackle is made. Ashton. It was a three and out first time for the Bobcats. Hill, his second rush, and this is a productive one. Uh, breakneck speed for Texas State. Hills in the wide receiver position shows that it's his own defense. Linebacker doesn't go out there. Boom. Catch is made. All Hawkins had the first down, went backwards. Ball out on time to the hitch route that's wide open, and now they're going fast. Hawkins again. He's already got three catches. Looked like the face mask game against BYU. So Tyrone Brown is getting a lot of snaps. Number 36. We'll talk about him throughout the course of the afternoon. Nice job of both those guys working together. Lincoln Perry is in the game. And this is Perry with the football. And Perry looked like his face mask was turned together. Good buddies. Played at Arkansas State previously. Perry to the edge. Hawkins. Hawkins going the wrong direction. Or you're going to see Hatcher. He's going to hesitate. He's going to hold and then throw it because it looked like the Baylor Bears was going to, were going to get through and make the play. But then he throws it still, and now you got Bears everywhere. Russ specialist Bryson Jackson to get to the quarterback. Catch is made, and they do get 10, 12 yards. These slot receivers. Empty backfield. Rushes on. And Possession, they moved the football, just had to give it over on downs, though. Lane Hatcher. Had plenty of time, nobody open. Ah, uh, okay. It's a pearl, Devin Gardner. Second and 15. Catch is made. Look at this. Hawkins, a yard catch and run by... Hawkins, and then the 15-yard penalty. It's a 27-yard gain. Incomplete. Was the major bugaboo. Second and ten. Underneath again. Hawkins. Hawkins is the best offensive weapon for the Bobcats. And he's got so much pace. He's going to leak, 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 and then turn around and hook up. Very nice job. Remember, they had a miscommunication in the first quarter where well, first down. Hawkins averages seven and a half catches per game. He's already got five in our first half. This is Hill out of the backfield. Defense, I will go back to that dig concept where you got a guy coming on a deep end. Underneath. There he goes. Hawkins has the first down. He's going to go here. He's going in and back out. Very nice job of having tempo on his route. Tempo, tempo. Boom. Sticks that left foot in the ground, and he's wide up on the outside. Very play coming up. All passes so far on this drive. Here's the ninth pass. Ortega Jones. Texas fans. Outside zone to the left is wide open there. Hill, the first run of the drive, bangs full. Some big boys. Third down and one. They play power football and get the first down. Hatcher gets it to his there. Little pot pass. This is Hawkins. And running. The, he's next to Hatcher. Jeter. Down to the. Hatcher's completed his last seven passes. He's got five receivers available. Hatcher. And they've got the ball back. Best starting field position for either team. Catch is made. Inside the 40. Be a 14 14 game. Calvin Hill, one man to beat, decides he wants to go inside. It's a lot of space to get these balls to hitches. Hatcher drives it in there. Hawkins. Little defense ball on time. First down. Hatcher's completed nine of his last ten throws to the ground. Hill makes a man miss inside the 50. was on defense. He's back on the field right now. Best pass rusher for Baylor. Caught. This is the linebacker. He's going to get slot right there. Through the middle of the defense, the linebacker moves out of the way, and you're going to get Hawkins right behind him for an easy touchdown. You can see 41 right there. He stepped into 195 yards rushing a week ago in the win for Texas State. He's only got 30 yards here in 30 minutes this afternoon. Pitch and catch again. It's Hawkins so far in this ball game.
10 catches, 101 yards for Hawkins. Hatcher escapes pressure. He's going to get in the middle of that defense. Baylor, a lot of times, like to play zone defense and bracket each side. You can see that safety bracketing the opposite side, and he gets right into the vacancy. He has a net. For Back in the middle of that defense for Baylor. Number five, the fifth year senior had to miss the first half because of a targeting penalty. One, maybe it's Doyle time. Hill has the first catches for 101 yards. Hatcher to the end zone. In Montana State. The Bobcats everywhere. Out in the flat on second down and 10. Banks with the catch, and the ball came loose late. <laughs> Texas State, they've got it back on the blitz. Pass had to come. Defense is uniquely built where they do a lot of bracketing already, so they can just use their defense to bracket him rather than bracket the outside receivers. Calvin Hill. Then Texas State doesn't mu have much of an offense, excluding Hill in the run game. Hill, patient, finally gets the hole. And then pull the tackle and center or guard and tackle, just like you see there, around. Again, Hill just so patient. Then got Hawkins in the inside so that they can't bracket him. Tipped at the line. Somebody else has to make a play outside of Hawkins. Again! You got 360, bull rushing you. This guard does not have a chance. The center comes over and tries to help. L look at that. I mean, he, he wanted to see his team take more advantage of opportunities, and that's what they're doing. And the state is going to have to drop back and drive this ball down the field. They're not going to be able to chop him down the way they've done all game. After a loss of nine, they get it up. You know, they love to do it. They just haven't been able to get to it. Third down, trying to set up the screw up off the mat. After having no turnovers in our first half, we've got a combined three here in the second half. In the end zone. That's what they need. Short pitch and catch. Hill. Devin, is it hard? Jeter is in the game on third down and six. He's in the backfield. They give it to Jeter. And G to the 36. And it's fourth down. Jeter. There he gets. Baylor's done a good job bracketing Hawkins and not allowing him to get free. Hawkins, state record for catches in a game with 12. He joins three other players. Third and seven. Lincoln Perry. Stop. You're going to get an in and tackle switching here on the game. Very nice job. Coming underneath and bursting through. It's it's almost that. They were down just 14 to 7 with 159 remaining in the second quarter. They've been blitzed ever since. Hatcher held on. So he's paying his own way at Texas State. Pretty cool act from Hatcher. And now he gets the edge and gets to the quarterback. In, 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 in football, you don't even call that a third and a bunch. Safe call. Jameel Jeter. Of course he is. Probably got an extra grind with this Ohio State Buckeye. Oh, without question. Added chip. Lincoln Perry, his biggest. Hawkins. His 13th catch that is. He covers and, and, and creating doubles. And you can see Texas State still trying to get him open. But uh, that first half, he failed the defense has done on him in the second half. He had 100 yards in the first half. Now only got Alfonso Allen coming off the bench and making a nice play. It's a nice job route reading, right? Because he own way on today. But Texas State going into that Sunbelt Conference, this is going to be a team to be reckoned with. Uh, they and only seven points. That's the story of the game for Texas State. To get him in and get him some opportunity. Three straight carries for Barry. Or once. A lot of Barry lately. The foul, and they ruled that it wasn't the crown, that it was the side of the helmet. And uh, it has to be against the runner. It's got to be the. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. Mike, thanks for the clarification. Got to get the measuring tape off for that one. The, the targeting calls considerably. Well, as Mike told us back in the first half, targeting calls are actually relatively rare. One in every five games. Iowa against Iowa State.